Good morning everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a very, very exciting day today. It is <laughs> the start of my birthday celebrations and we are having a garden party, a little bit of a lunch today. I'm in my dressing gown and have been since about six o'clock this morning. I know Wiggy's already so tired and the rollers are in. I've just finished my makeup and I'm just coming down to do the final bits on the table. The table is looking absolutely beautiful. We've still got to lay the forks and knives, but the flowers are done and I can't even tell you how exquisite they are. So Flowered UK have been so kind. And last night I had the most incredible delivery of the most stunning florals you've ever seen. And as you guys know, I love a tablescape. So I'm just placing them down the middle of the table and then I will do a little bit of a tour of what we're doing today. Tomorrow we're going to have a super chilled one and then Monday is my actual birthday and we're off to London. So it's going to be a jam packed weekend. And yeah, yeah, let's do this. bouquets that Flower Art UK have sent. So this is the stunning bouquet designed by Laura Willis. It is called Summer and it is simply exquisite. And this one is designed by the one and only, you guys love her, I love her, we all love her, Josie. So this is the perennial millennial and it is Josie all over. You've got cow parsley, sprayed roses, beautiful peach roses, ivory, and I'm just blown away. Just putting the finishing touches to the table today and these are the exquisite flowers that Flowered UK have sent. How beautiful do they look here in our outdoor dining area in the courtyard garden. They are just so beautiful. You have spray roses, roses, fresh whites, greens, and it just matches in perfectly with my Mrs. Alice napkins, the gorgeous succulents, the simplicity of the succulent next door to that beautiful vase is just stunning. My goodness me, it is just so beautiful. I'm over the moon. Flowered UK, thank you so, so much. The last thing we need, keep your fingers crossed for me. We need a little bit of sunshine. <laughs> There's a little bit of blue sky, but this is looking rather dark, but it is not going to dampen my day. We are going to have the most beautiful birthday celebration filled with so much love. I've just finished off the table and it looks so beautiful. I am honestly so grateful to Flowered. If you don't know about Flowered, they are an online flower gifting company. If you live in London, it's same day delivery. If not, it's next day delivery. The flowers are always as fresh and as beautiful as ever. It has just made my table for my birthday weekend. I've done a little bit of a difference. So this is marinated Romano peppers. And so I've done the peppers around the edge, which smell incredible. And I've added in a bed of rocket, heirloom tomatoes, and my favorite thing in the world is a burrata. So we have five burratas in the middle, homemade pesto, salt and pepper, and I think that's going to be delicious.
everybody happy Monday it's quite possibly I think one of the best Mondays I've ever had it is actually my birthday today and we have come up to London mummy has brought me up to London she's up there <laughs> for a little bit of a birthday shopping treat and then we are going to Daphne's for lunch Marcus has also come up with us which is very very special and it's going to be just such a gorgeous day Every time I come into the evening gown section, I look at this beautiful sausage dog and I love him so much, but I think I will look like a lunatic sausage dog obsessed lady. And I have a red carpet event at the end of October. And so I'm in search of a beautiful dress. And I've got these exquisite Jenny Packham dresses that I am just going to quickly pop on and see what they look like in the hope that I find something very special. favorite lunch spots in London is Daphne's and so I couldn't think of a better place to have a delicious birthday lunch. This is the iconic bar here in Daphne's. They have the beautiful bar stools. It truly really is such a special spot for lunch. <laughs> Marcus has taken the day off of work and he is spending it with me for my birthday. I honestly don't feel that Mondays could get any better. I'm at my favourite restaurant and I cannot wait to show you my favourite things to eat here. Hi guys, happy Friday. I left you on Monday in London and my goodness, it has been a week. To be honest, I've been trying to keep my head down, get as much work done as possible because of how short <laughs> this week has been. And I'm just off to Hurley House. I'm hosting a few of my VIPs at lunches today. And then as a family, we are all going to the Cotswolds for the weekend to celebrate one of our dearest friends' birthdays. They're also celebrating 120 years of business, which is incredible, absolutely incredible. They have Ben Portsmouth playing, who I think is the best, world's best, Elvis. He gets flown all across the world and he is such a fun. So it really is going to be an incredible weekend. I then think tomorrow night we have a seafood tasting and then Sunday we have champagne and canapes at their house. So it's going to be just gorgeous. So let's go to the Cotswolds via Hurley House and have a fabulous weekend. We have just arrived at the hotel. This is called the Burley Court. And look at this view. Truly is exceptional. It is such a quaint, gorgeous little hotel.
this is the beautiful dining room that they have here. It's just gorgeous, got all these incredible old paintings. What I love is that the majority of them are either dogs or horses. Isn't that such a beautiful, mm, trip over, <laughs> beautiful fireplace as they have this amazing, almost like a chart to explain who is in what bedroom back when it was a manor house. So you have Sir Guy's bathroom and bedroom, Lady Grant's bathroom and bedroom, Miss Anne's bedroom. My goodness me, I wonder what bedroom I'm going to be in. <laughs> hey guys, me again, in the towel with a crazy... <laughs> Please excuse Mark. One, he's in the shower and two, he is tone deaf quite possibly the worst singer on God's earth. And he's one of those people that sings so confidently when he actually doesn't know the words whatsoever. Anyway, as I was saying, I've just done my makeup and my hair is in the rollers just cooling um, before I pop my dress on, which is hanging there. And then we are off to some very, very good friends of ours birthday party this evening. It's an Elvis party. Ben Portsmouth is coming to sing, which is going to be amazing. And yeah, it's just going to be a fabulous night and I will take you with me. So let's pop my dress on and I will show you what my outfit of the evening is. We are just about to rush out of the door because as always, we are a touch late, but I thought I'd do a very quick outfit of the evening. I'm wearing one of my favorite Zimmerman dresses. This is their classic wrap silk dress. It's the longer version and every single year they do different colors and it is almost like a burnt rose look and I've paired it with a classic pair of Valentino heels. But actually not that high, so I should be able to dance this evening paired with with my favorite Bottega Veneta bag. It's a little black clutch, and that is my outfit of the evening. Hampton. <laughs> it's really nice to be here. We got uh, we got the Elvis fans in the house. <laughs> Thank God. I'm gonna take you right back now to where it all started. You know, the '50s rock and roll. Just shake, rattle, and roll. Oh, 
Everything from the company to the food, the beautiful cocktails, and Ben Portsmouth. He is honestly just something else. Feeling slightly worse for wear today. Tired, um, had probably one too many espresso martinis, but it was such fun. And we have come into quite possibly one of the most exquisite little towns called Tepri. And they have so many beautiful antique stores here. Also home to one of my favorite stores, Molo. So we're gonna go and have a little look and I will take you and show you some of these exquisite antique stores. Look at this incredible piece. This is absolutely beautiful. Gosh, I'd love to have this in the barn. Oh, I just don't know whether we've got the height, but that is truly such an incredible piece. So this is a very famous antique store and the gentleman is called Toby Lawford and they have Lawfords and they have some incredible airport hangers, but this is his store in Tepri. and look at how cute this little coffee shop is. They do freshly made pastries, coffee, my favorite crisps of all time. <laughs> all these olive oils, pasta, all the pasta sauces. Again, what a store. These are my favorite olives, absolute favorite olives. This is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, olives down there, fresh cannolis, wow. What a cute little store. So I've just been talking to this delightful young lady and this coffee shop is called Lola & Co. And she's just been telling me that the owner's dog is called Lola. So the, the boss, the boss is Lola. I love that. And what type of dog is Lola? Jack Russell. She's a Jack Russell. You guys would have heard me talk about them before, Molo. And they do the most beautiful blazers, jackets, suits. Really, they are absolutely exquisite. Let's go and have a little look. Their jackets are absolutely statement pieces, as you can see. They've got beautiful patterns, beautiful cuts. They truly are lifetime pieces. So invest in one of their jackets, it will last forever. This is just one of their incredible pieces from the new collection. The jacket, but you can also wear it. Pin back like they have on this mannequin here with a cream dress on underneath, or like I've done today with the matching trousers. Isn't it yeah, stunning? But I know I always bang on about it. If you invest in quality products, they will last a lifetime. And my Molo jackets, I can't even tell you, I wear my mother's that are 10 years old and they are so, so beautiful. This is another one of their jackets and they are just so special. Every single season is slightly different. But you've got the Hermes orange with the gold, the incredible Molo buttons and how beautiful is this? I'm thinking a pair of like commando leggings, a pair of Fairfax boots and I think this would look incredible. Yeah, 
this is such a special jacket obviously i'm not rocking it very well with the old dress underneath but you know a little bit of vision and it would be perfection <laughs> So Lawford's is not just in the little shop in Tetbury. They have the most incredible facility. It's an, at an old hangar and they have two hangars here. And we are in hangar number one and they are filled with the most beautiful antiques. Everything has a QR code so you're able to scan it and see the heritage. This is a beautiful piece. We're currently looking at pieces for the house in Mallorca. So this is a Swedish 19th century demi loon table. It's a half moon table but it's so beautiful let's go and have a little look around these lanterns are stunning i love this one i wonder whether this is french let's have a little look yes a french hanging lantern it's beautiful gosh there really are look at this old-fashioned posting box so it says first day of issue postmarks Wow, it's incredible. Not that I'm looking for a 19th century mahogany post box, but if any of you guys are looking out there, <laughs> it's here. We're very much lusting after this Rococo piece. It's a Swedish cabinet, Rococo cabinet from the 17th century. It's absolutely exquisite. And actually, all the little details, look at these little cherubs. Inside, okay, well they've as you can see, the storage is amazing, and the colour of this pale blue is going to be our estate colour. But that is definitely on the wish list. This is the second hanger. Just popping in to have a quick browse before I do feel I may need a nap before we go for dinner this evening. Oh, I love those. Look at the gold bamboo detail. Oh my goodness me. I am absolutely in love with those. My grandmother used to collect these little plates and so whenever I see them, I do normally pick them up because she gave me her beautiful collection of plates. And aren't they cute? Absolutely stunning. Look at that leaf detail. I wonder where the little label is for these. It'd be interesting to know the history. Off to the spotter over here, we found the most beautiful table. And on the top, we think this would be perfect for Odie. We just need a couple more. Oh, you'd What's love the that. history? <laughs> so it's a 19th century French model iron bed. I mean, the Dashens would love those. Her four lined up. Oh, gosh, it's so sweet. But how exquisite is this dresser? thinking a pair of beautiful lamps and a huge arrangement of flowers. I'm all showered and dressed and we have just popped to nails work. We are going to a restaurant called Williams this evening. It's a famous seafood restaurant and apparently it is the best seafood in the Cotswolds. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm wearing one of my favorite Me and M jumpsuits and I have tarted it up a bit with a navy stiletto, a navy Chanel bag, and I cannot wait for the food this evening. I am stuck. A night. What a restaurant. How incredible has the food been? <laughs> She's really not sure. Mummy, you actually can't go that way. So I'm afraid we're gonna have to come and see you too. <laughs> food has been absolutely fantastic. I showed you guys the oysters, but I got so excited about my languistines I forgot to film them if I'm truthfully honest. And then I had two scoops of ice cream, which was delicious. And now we're finally on the way home, and I can tell you what, I'm going to be sleeping very well. For the last morning of activities, we have come to Kimberly and John's house 
and we are having a champagne and canapes on the terrace. Robbie is welcoming everybody in. Oh my goodness me, it's 11 a.m. We're already back on the champagne, but Kimberly has the most incredible green fingers and her garden is absolutely to die for. Look at this. They have a beautiful view, beautiful little pond, and look at her beds. Aren't they just so beautiful? I've just popped into Kimberly's kitchen, being very naughty, to come and see these incredible canapes. And it is pink pineapple events. And these are quail's eggs, is that right? Gosh, incredible with the gold leaf on the top. And look, I feel terrible even destroying the beauty. Gosh, and what are these ones? And um, they're all different. So these are, that's a salmon cone with a beetroot creme fraiche. That's a little fresh basil pesto with a cucumber twist. And that's a goat cheese and onion marmalade. Gosh. All with edible oh flowers. my goodness me, they look incredible. The front is um, a sweet chili cheesecake. Oh. Um, and then one back is treats and pups. Then goat's cheese and onion marmalade and deviled quail's egg. So a very, very special occasion. I have the queen of the gardens herself, Kimberly, And she's very kindly, her party is ongoing. But she's going to very quickly take us around her garden and show us these exceptional borders. Uh, this was originally a potager uh, where I grew vegetables and flowers but it got so well established that the roots in fact um, it stopped any vegetables growing successfully so now it just has to look pretty with, the, <laughs> with some flowers in that I cut for the house. I spot quite possibly the most beautiful cafe dahlias I have ever seen. I do cheat a little bit as you will see by putting uh, pots in the gardens where oh, I sometimes I get that. gaps. A slight gap. Oh, look at this little person who's come to visit us. Gosh, she's gorgeous. And some of uh, my borders you might find flat because of the dogs, because they <laughs> like to root in between. But I like to fill in with pots where there's a gap. I um, love that. It creates character, though. Yes, it's, and can we I just? I the heads on these beautiful. I think Gosh. the one round the side there is the big one, isn't it? Oh, my goodness look at that oh my gosh they're breathtaking how long do they flower for because you've got really quite a lot of uh, buds here right away until the first frost end of october oh gosh um obviously i've, I've got some shape in the garden uh, which is always there in the winter yeah so i haven't actually got it bare no, i'm not too precious about what oh i put in the garden i want it to be just a nice cottage type of garden look at um, this have it staked i do or else yeah because, uh, we're otherwise they're here but we do get a lot of wind so yeah i do have to stake them up um, yeah a lot of the tall plants oh, gosh, um, obviously they were beautiful when they were flowering as you yes. can see but i still i think they have a lovely shape Enormous. which i like i love that um, and are you one of those that hang them upside yes. down and oh, then i you... spray them Oh right, okay. In the winter, I can spray them silver and gold or white. And then you have Christmas. them in the house and have them as decorations. Oh uh, my goodness. You can me. see I do need to do a spot of deadheading. <laughs> <laughs> but she's been the queen of the party for the whole weekend, so she's been rather busy. But little Buddy has told me that you have really rather a successful vegetable garden. Oh, I do down so. below there. So we've quickly popped down the stairs and Kimberly's told me to have a quick sniff. <laughs> or whiff, I should say, of this beautiful leodendron, and the scent is heavenly. It's very heady, isn't it's it? It's very heady, but you almost, you, t you walk down the stairs and it's just, you get mm. this overwhelming smell of just pure beauty. Because down below is where we spend the late evening. Yes. And uh, the smell from the tree down there is just exquisite. Oh, you know, when, when they So they've created this beautiful entertaining space just at the bottom here. And am I right in saying that this was actually a swimming pool it at one point? It was very, very old swimming pool. It, uh, and so they've created fact, this... water tank which they'd made into a swimming pool. And they've made this incredible entertaining space and they've got these beautiful, such charming little steps down to it, overlooking what is quite possibly one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen from the main house but just off the side we have the vegetable garden and I will say the queen of cooking the queen of gardens and the lady who makes the best dips I've ever tasted in my whole entire life all come from this very garden so now, that's a cardoon a cardoon okay yes, it's a cardoon now this one has been here 
actually when we bought the house. We've had for 20 years. And then I think it's been in here 20 years before that. Oh my God. And behind, obviously, you can see we have a fig tree. Yes. You've which got your this figs. year, we've got figs on, but they haven't sort of matured. Okay. It seems to be every other year. And what do that. you do with this cardoon? Well, it's just pretty to look to, at. Well, you're supposed to eat the very new tender leaves, but oh, then right. in the winter, um, I dry them out and use them for dried flower arrangements in the house. Oh, gorgeous. And Christmas, maybe I spray them. Oh, lovely. A few little gold. See, lots yes. of advice here, ladies and gentlemen, for what you can do. Sustainability, recycling, your beautiful flowers from your garden, making them into decorations. As you can see, most of, <laughs> I've used most of the vegetables that I had, but grow virtually everything. Behind is a Him Himalayan blackberry. Uh, which blackberry. flowers long before ours, uh, picks long before our native blackberry, and very sweet. Oh, look, we've got a few little goodies at the back there. Corn's ready to Oh, the pick. sweet corn. It's only my husband and I, so um, <laughs> so we don't need too many. Oh my gosh, As every gardener incredible. knows, it all happens at the same time, you know, yes. so... Um, you can imagine, and I spot an enormous, two enormous tomatoes, Kimberly. Look at those. I have to cordon them off because my dog eats them. Oh, very naughty. Very and naughty doglets. Well, we have a few of those. This is my little haven in here. Haven. Oh, can we look at these cucumbers? cucumbers. Have, have you ever seen a bigger cucumber? Grapes. <gasps> Taste. Oh. oh my goodness me. Look at all the tomatoes growing. Yeah. I love to do this. All your tomatoes. This Bye. really is a haven of, so you're going to pick that and then you'll pop yes. it into a salad or yes, yeah, have it yeah. for dinner. And they're nice and high up so the dog doesn't get them. Yes, <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Your red onions. Oh yes. Courgettes. Yeah, that's it. And uh, white onions down there. White onions or your chilies. Yeah. Yes, they are fiery. Kimberly does create some very fiery chilies. <laughs> First year I've grown sweet potatoes. Oh, so wow. I, know, I, don't know, I don't know a lot about them, so let's just hope they're a success. I would never have thought sweet potatoes yeah. have so many leaves. Yeah. One of the incredible things here at Kimberley and John's is that all the cows roam free and so these are their front gates and look at the cows they just is that, that bull? yeah is that the bull yeah. they just literally just stroll down the street the cars are all aware oh my goodness me they're causing havoc isn't that absolutely incredible Look, he stopped to have a little bit of a nibble on someone's wonderful hedge over there. I know. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. We got back late last night, but what a weekend it has been. And we are off to Soho Farmhouse today, hence why the rollers and a face of makeup. <laughs> and we're just going to have a super chilled day. We're going with great friends of ours, Charlie and Christy, and Christy's actually having a couple of spa treatments, so I'm gonna set up by the pool, chill out, get a little bit of work done before tomorrow, because a Tuesday after a bank holiday weekend is hectic. So I'm gonna get that done, out of the way, and then chill and relax possibly have a little nap but i'm hoping the weather perks up a little bit otherwise it might be a bit nippy so <laughs> i might be one of those people with the towels on up to here having a little nap and then we're going to have a late lunch either in main barn or over in penyan i love japanese food and it is fantastic so fingers crossed we can get a table at penyan and yeah, we're just gonna have the most gorgeous day. As you know, they are quite strict with cameras, so I will take you with me and show you as much as I can. Definitely show you the food because, I mean, it's the most important part. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take my dressing gown off, not on here, and pop my dress on, and let's get to Soho Farmhouse. 
very naughty. I shouldn't be actually filming this, but we are just about to dig in to Penyan, which is an amazing Japanese restaurant, and I will show you, as always, my food diaries. <laughs> guys so I just went for the most glorious swim it is so gorgeous here slightly on the nippy side but it is quite overcast but when the sun comes out it is just so stunning you could be anywhere and it's always such a fun vibe here but as I mentioned earlier not really allowed any cameras or pictures or phones because of everybody else so I will try to show you as much as I can just having the most gorgeous day with our friends and happy bank holiday Monday <laughs> We've just come to see the chickens. <laughs> First of all, look at his hairstyle. And second of all, how friendly he is. Oh my goodness, Christy. He loves you. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> look at how cute he is. Look at the fluffy one. Really one so one. sweet. That I'm not sure what the sausages easy. would think though. Oh, always oh, have a little yoga. stretch. <laughs> so friendly. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I can't cope hey, with their hair. Hey. <laughs> Oh, They're so cute. The chicken's trying to make a run for it. It's like actually you're safer in that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest it, honey. You're safer in the pen than out here. Oh my gosh, no! You're meant to be in there, I'm afraid. Do you want to go back in? Do you want to go back in there? Look, your boyfriend is wondering where you've gone. Oh my goodness me. We're off to see the goat. Honestly, this is such fun. We've had an escapee chicken and these goats look rather frisky actually. <laughs> look at the little one, the little black legs. You're so cute. You're so beautiful. Oh, he likes a little bottom scratch. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Look at this one. Luna's best life. It's got like four inch legs. This is too sweet. Hi. He's my friend. Hi. My new sweet. Oh my gosh. Mark, please, can we get a pet goat? Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, look, he's got an. Oh, it's Kevin. His name's Kevin. Oh, Kevin, would you like to come home with us? We can give you a lovely home. You could live in the he's orchard. Beautiful. Oh, please, can we have that, Kevin? Do you want to come home with us? Do you want to come and live in the orchard? We are on the milk load and on the way back to the car, but what an incredible day. It has been such fun. I mean, what an amazing weekend, but yeah, a glorious way to spend a Monday. Just got home, PJs are on. I'm on the sofa with the sausages. Netflix is ready to rock and roll. And we are going to be having a very, very chilled evening. It has been such an incredible week. I hope you guys have enjoyed following along my birthday celebrations, a weekend in the Cotswolds with Elvis, <laughs> and a bank holiday Monday. Wiki, what are you doing? <laughs> a bank holiday Monday at Soho Farmhouse. I hope you guys have truly enjoyed watching. If you have, please hit the subscribe button. I've got someone up here who either wants to say hello to you or bite his older brother. Anyway, as always, sending you so much love. <laughs>